previously on AI the Somnium Files. Yeah, that was dumb. I should have just been like, hey, dude, I found your phone. Uh, it was inside this horse. I was just out here smoking some serious dope with my uh, my two compadres in the fucking radioactive zone. Thought it seemed like a good idea. I decided just for the hell of it, I was going to saw this fucking merry-go-round horse in half and see if there was actually any, like real horse parts inside. Turns out I found a smartphone. Who would have thunk it? it? Had your number in there, dude, bro. What's up with that, bro? Bro? Hug up, bro. And now back to AI the Horny Guy. AI the Horny Guy. AI the Horny Guy. Boobies rule. AI the Horny Guy. Would you like to touch my man's nut? Boop, 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 boop. AI the Horny Guy. Pervy Dante incoming. AI the horny guy. Hello! Sticky Back with some more AI the Somnium Files. We last left. Oh my god, we had some serious fucking deja vu. Is everybody getting that deja vu? I swear to god, I, I ended the last episode at the same place in the other route that I did this episode. Now I'm starting in the same place. So it's like, what the fuck? These two guys over here. And I was in this room. I was about to examine everything. Holy shit. Ah, brain, ah. But yes, yeah, so we, there was quite a bit of repeat from last uh, from last route. I mean, we did go to the, you know, Sunfish Pocket, right? Which you guys did tell me, hilariously enough, uh, Sunfish Pocket is an anagram for Spike Junesoft. Hey, wordplay. It's sort of like that and seeing that the mermaid and, uh, you know, I guess little tinier things. We're still seeing the same character, same route, and same information. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I get that we sort of have to, right? Like we hadn't run to Mama-san yet um we hadn't met this guy yet but i do wish in those instances i wish it let me like the skip button worked right it just skipped over because there was a lot of stuff that we definitely had said before um just let me skip it just like let it like detect like oh yeah this is definitely information that we've already saw said in the other route and let me skip over it but right now the game is basically just it it's going the more basic way of just saying oh has he seen this side of the route and this information even if it's the same no so we're not gonna skip it again minor detail but it would have been kind of nice but i did have you guys tell me that this is actually uh interesting enough that's actually the moment the the game really starts to divert so i shouldn't try to like try to fly through this shit or expect it to be like exactly the same so okay cool that's all i want to know okay because i walked in here and the i did the exact same beat up scene that i did the last time I had the same conversation with this dude I just want to make sure that it didn't just immediately lead into the exact same scene we saw before. So I was going to walk out here, take a cigarette, put it down. We're going to come back for it later. I'm going to teabag this guy, one guy over here. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Flame of a Dune said, <laughs> little did Dante know that there was a level be be above or a Calcum Trident where the mermaids replace the Trident with the Keyblade, dress up like Donald and Goofy and sing Finny Fun to you. On second thought, maybe it's best that he doesn't know about that. <laughs> oh, God. That's the Heart Light Dahar Bart level. Few people come out at Heart Light Dahar Bart level unscathed. Let's just put it that way. Where your mind turns to absolute fuck. You gotta listen to Donald be like, what? I got it. I hold you. <laughs> oh, God. No, I really am flashing back to Fitty Fun. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a. Well, that was a mistake. I feel like the whole Finny Fun thing, too. I like, I swear to God, I was like wishing on a monkey's paw. Because the whole, like, everything up to that point, I was like, I was like, why don't we do, like, actually some more, like, the actual singing segments of Disney films? I always thought those were, you know, some good parts. And that'd be kind of neat to throw in here. <laughs> they throw it in there. But with, like, Sora, Donald, and Goofy all singing, too. And it's like, oh, fuck. Never mind. Never mind. Not to mention, they threw a whole bunch of new songs in there. And they all kind of suck, so... Uh, anyway, we're getting off topic. Uh, Flame of this dude, thank you so much for your uh, incredibly horrifying comment. It's the reason you are comment today. But okay, so Mizuki fortunately is has uh, been cured of her uh, her traumatic uh, aphonia by her teacher Hitomi. So it looks like maybe we'll get a bit more of uh, Hitomi this time as well. I'm, I am glad to see at least Mizuki isn't this whole route just going to be like mute. That's kind of what I was afraid of. But I think it's clear that we're going to be focusing probably more on Iris and Hitomi this time. Since we only sort of lightly talk about them in the other route, right? They're definitely a lot less of a focus. Which will likely then lead to an Iris ending and maybe an Hitomi ending? I don't know. Probably just an Iris ending. Because seeing as Oda's route was also kind of like a Miyumi ending. 
it might be the same for Iris. I just hope that by the end of this, I actually start to like Iris because I really don't. And it's not just the fact that I know some of you guys are like, well, Nico, you're just, you're kind of making assumptions that she's crazy, right? There's not exactly like a ton of evidence for that aside from the Somniums, which are weird fucking dream things anyway, right? Okay. Then the other part that I don't like about her is the fact that she is insanely manipulative. I, I even hate the stupid, like, I'm going to blackmail you into dating, going on a date with me with Date. And if Date doesn't see it and he's just sort of like, kind of seemingly shrugs off how manipulative she is. And it sort of pisses me off. It just feels like Date being a fucking idiot. So I'm actually, I'm genuinely hoping I'm wrong. I, I want the game to be like, no, she's actually a pretty amazing, sympathetic character. There's reasons she's manipulative and she's not a fucking psycho who turns out to be a bad guy who like kills us in one of the endings or something. I want you guys to understand, all right? I'm saying these things not because I'm like, oh, I, I, this totally was gonna happen. I want this to happen. No, I don't want it to happen. I want it like Iris. I reached the point of being able to just simply put up with Oda, all right? That's like the best, the best case scenario. I can put up with him, all right? And loosely can respect him only for that one ending where he realized he was a stupid idiot to Miyumi, right? I want to at least have that much with Iris. <laughs> at the very least so we shall see um anyway we're back at the office we uh beat up these dudes in the same amazingly choreographed thing as before uh is all this gonna be the same i floss through the wall after 40 your toenails grow slower gross that's an interesting motto that's what schedule's written on the board 22nd go to the zoo to see the pandas we're a hard ass yaks if you haven't been able to tell skinny the skinny one he's completely out there would be no point in talking to him in that state He's fine. Hey, what's up? I got nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon! If I make a wish, will it come true? Yeah, there we go. There's my turtle dragon joke. That is not Shenron. I wish for panties. Yeah! Go full, full oolong. I told you that's not Shenron. And then it fucking works. And I get the panty ending. The Kumakura crest. What? That's it? Why'd you decide to read that one out, Iba? I don't know. I was getting bored. Iba, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. We'll turn it on, then hack it. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, hey, here's a here's actually an indication right here, guys, right here that this does not play out the same as before. I can immediately examine these. <laughs> what an interesting thing to note. The only reason I know that is because I, I remember making note of it when I came over here last time where I was like, weird, why can't I examine this shit? And I had to, I had to first realize that there was somebody else in the room, right? And then look over here. Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. Marvelous Marvel. Marvel. Yes, you might have, some of you already kind of noticed, I've gr grown a little bit numb to the uh, pun jokes in this game. I know, all right? I saw some of you guys in the comments were like, I, I like the pun jokes in this game. That's great. I'm really happy for you. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of them. Sometimes they can be sort of funny, but like they, they're hitting me with so many here. And most of them are, are just there that I'm just like, uh-huh, yeah. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a tiger. And it's like science is funny, but fuck me if I feel like I'm starting to feel like at least like 70% of the of the fluff dialogue in this game is just okay. <laughs> it's just there. But humor is indeed subjective, so don't mind me. I think I, I think my favorite joke of the game is still uh when, <laughs> when I looked at the lucky cat and then I just goes <laughs> I don't know. It was just it was unexpected and it really made me laugh. The subtle nuances of just going as opposed, to the, as opposed to these these puns, wordplay. Fuck that. Just make a sound, just make a random stupid sound and, and I'll giggle and clap my hands like a fucking toddler. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, okay, I think that's everything in the room. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, uh. Man, saying the chairman sees named Moma. Mobama. About Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. Yeah, you do. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? You're looking chairman at him. The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, right. Because I forgot he didn't yet know that, oh, other guy's dead. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. 
We haven't had that yet. Chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? I know I'm grabbing my gut here, but... Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. Died of fuck! He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. Uh, do you know anything about the investment fraud? I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. To the Kumakura's killer. Fuck no. Why would we do that? Date, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Uh, oh. Body temperature rising. Red hot line. It appears that way. Hmm. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. So, you over here, dude? So? No? Ace doesn't actually in the room this time. Is it the ashtray? Uh, one of his secrets. Well, I do have his bio, and it talks about how soft he is. Uh, chair! I'm almost a chair. A chairman's chair. Crest. <gasps> hey. <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> he loves Tessa. There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. He's got Tessa's regular figure and Tessa's lewd figure. Oh, God. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. Dossie's like, I have a focus. Focus harder on that lewd one there. Focus, need more details. Mm. An Asa figure. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown, but perhaps. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Asa, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. It's got a horse dick. Never be into pussy shit like that, you fucker. Yeah, fuck shit ass. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh. Uh, oh god, here we go. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna do the thing. What, what, which one do I say? Oh, I gotta do it. How does it work? A set. Shadows? Shadows. Threat a silhouette ASAP. <laughs> oh my god. I loved what his little his little his little model did. <laughs> See him vote with his little arms. Water. Water. Wait, uh, sweat. He said, he said you bet. Oh my god. Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? He said. Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? I like how he did it all three times. <laughs> he didn't like do it once by accident and then like catch himself. He did it all three times <laughs> with an absolutely no restraint. Sh shut up. Don't look at me. Get out of here. Did you hear me? He's actually missing a tooth on that one side. I said get the fuck out of here. Yes, yes sir. Okay, this played out totally different. Yep. As you guys said it would. The Fowler grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. Okay, cool. I've got your secret now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really that much of a secret. You just you just gave it away to all your cohorts. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah. I got it. That was easy. Uh I had no idea you're a net idol fan. How did you know? You're hiding an A-set figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Um, what about Rohan Kumakura? Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization and my blood brother. He was also a fucking psycho. <laughs> I do kind of like that that moment here is like, he's much softer than his big brother. It's actually like, <laughs> kind of a weeb. <laughs> but he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah. After breaking out of the hospital. Wait. Why was he hospitalized? About 20 years back. Both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. 
The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At okay. the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. Really? The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Oh, by the way, and I noticed this when I went back to, to edit. Something else that I did not realize with uh, with Iris in uh, uh, Mizuki Somnium. Uh, when she was lying frozen, naked on the on the, underneath the carousel with the stab marks in her back, she also I, I didn't see she, one of her eyes was removed. I think it was actually her right eye, um, which is actually different though than the eye that gets removed from her in the other route. Uh, the right eye would suggest old killer, old original Cyclops killer, right? That was his mo. New Cyclops killer went with the left eye. So, hmm, interesting. Is this also perhaps why Rohan had this uh, fascination with eyes as well? And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question from Oma. R really, dude? Seriously, just the left side? You can just turn your head. <laughs> I mean, I get you're blind that side. You don't have. You also don't have good depth perception. But you can just turn your head slightly, and now it's not on the. You know, whatever. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Was Rohan left-handed? Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It isn't that he's just blind. I got you. Okay. They're actually... Okay. The, sorry. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun there. It was There actually is a legit reason. This is actually something we... we and we talked to about briefly in like psychology, right? It's super, it's it's crazy, man. Like the human brain is uh, something else. She, she's gonna talk about it, but I, I believe the idea is like basically your the different sides of your brain, uh, like uh, you know affects. I think it's like your right side affects your left, and your left affects your right. Like it's something like you can actually detect something in like one part of your brain and the other part doesn't realize it's there. It's super insane. Like like I I think it was talked about where like somebody had like their brain like oh the, no the connections between their each side of their brain was severed. Like they would see something in on one side of the brain and it wouldn't register but they would know it or something. It's oh man it was it was nuts. I, it's been a long time since I, I read about it, but I remember it being something like, wow, human brain is a fascinating, fascinating thing we got in there. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. Oh, really? I didn't know that. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Huh. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. About Rohan. I want to keep talking about this. Is anyway. interesting. After getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. Oh. Really? One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. It actually made him, like, more ruthless? Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a uh, potato peeler. Uh, from the toe to the thigh. Oh, that's so nasty, dude. Oh. Ooh. Totally blank expression, like he was scraping bonito flakes. Hey, Mabasa! <laughs> Just like Mabasa. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, <laughs> and that's how we became the Kuma Curse. <laughs> this guy is fucking nuts. Let's make him our leader. <laughs> this guy is. Absolutely insane. Hmm. 
Wow. So he wasn't just like he was born that way. He got like, why would this restoring his spatial awareness though make him into like a cold-blooded killer? Somehow affected his like sense of morality? I guess he just stopped giving a shit? I don't know. When was Rohan hospitalized? About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, mm. his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something related to Date or related to that prisoner guy, right? Oh, actually, actually, it probably is. It's, it's going to be related to that prisoner guy. We even show, saw him show up in the flashback. Some from his past. Maybe the other guy got away or something. And he was worried that he was going to come back and kill his ass, right? I don't know. We never saw the conclusion to that scene, so we don't really know what happened. Other than him coming in there seemingly and shooting Hitomi. And then Boss runs in, right? Whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle so He's like, fuck this. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, Oh, but... oh, no, that's it right there. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. Some guy, right? I'm, I'm guessing that's Otomi. But it didn't work and the cops busted him and that would have been boss coming in maybe? Was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know. His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Hmm. Okay. Do you have an alibi for Shoko's murder? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. All right, this thing again. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Okay. About Shoko and the Kumakuras. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. You know Renju Okiura, right? No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Mama about Renji's accident and about his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. So why was it when he was saying that we did you guys kill Shoko that he was red though? Never any problems with Shoko. There's no reason. I, I Maybe he, they sent somebody to kill her, right? Even if he said they had no problems, that might be a lie. <laughs> We're very picky and choosy when we decide to thermograph somebody. Press information on Renju. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAT. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. I'll bring her for here and she'll do a little dance for you. It'll be great. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. Just like last time. Ah. It was still worth it just to find out Moba is an ASAP fan. Really? Yeah! Information might come in handy later. He's my friend now. Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here. Uh, okay. Back to Abyss. Meow. 
Just run down the same stretch of fucking highway. Uh, anything funny in the car? Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. Oh shit. What? Port! Flower in a plastic bag. <laughs> That's funny. Why would you do that? I'm a cop. I'm a cop. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm just kidding. It's just cocaine. Oh, good. All right, God. You almost got me in trouble. This shift lever is filthy. Yeah, it is. Would you like me to wipe it off? No, it's perfectly clean. How would you even wipe it anyway? Huh? Wow, I am really surprised I didn't just go like, yeah. Yeah, jerk that gear. Jerk it. Sorry. Uh, dashboard. That's a broadsword. Zweihander. This is not Dark Souls, uh, Date. That is very similar. Oh, wait. Great mirror. Look at that. A huge dog with a human face is chasing me. You should grant it the right of way. <laughs> a huge dog with a human face? That's got to be referencing something else. This sounds like some Junji Ito shit or something. Okay, I think that's it. Hi, Abba. Uh, I was seeing the passenger seat. What would be precise the image of her? Uh, concern about Renju. Can you call Iris commiserate? Ah! Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Hmm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. <laughs> Wait, do you really self-destruct? An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. Neat. Why do you even have that function? <laughs> My body is full of cutting edge technology and state secrets in terms of hardware as well as software. State secrets, really? I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What about that 0.01%, huh? What's the 0.01% got that everything else doesn't? What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Oh, well, that's going to come into play at some fucking point, isn't it? Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. Ah, really? I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. Really? You have such authority. All right, do it right now. Let us determine a code number, one that will activate the detonator. Oh my God. Am I about to get, am I, I, I feel like this is leading towards an ending. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna give it and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna blow myself up but that's gonna be the year. Uh... Command four, one, two, zero, five. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. Boobs. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. That was a word. <laughs> yeah, goes to the cloud, right? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud, all by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes, as long as the server is alive. Thanks, server. How'd you come up with that number? Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Really? Oh, okay. No, this is actually a major plot point. Okay. 
I wasn't sure if this was playing up some like some joke, <laughs> joke ending or something. Where she's like, "All right, here's the number." I'm like, "Okay, do it." And I just do it. And it blows me up, and then I get an ending. <laughs> the dumbass ending. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, okay, no, that's actually playing into something. Why? Why did I go with? That's a that's a very vague thing. Not not just the four one two zero five, but also it has to be an untrue statement afterwards. Damn, just just pick like fucking grapefruit or something. I don't know. <laughs> pick a word. But again, I guess I don't want to actually trigger it, even though. How would I accidentally say that number? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking like saying an untrue thing. I feel like I'd have to sit and think about it. Like, let's say I really needed Iba to blow herself up or something. I'd be like, all right. Uh, uh my name is Billy. <laughs> uh, this actually might be, let's see, let me look at this. Is that what this is? I think it is. It's in insects, spiders, crustaceans in this, uh, this number here, this binary number. I think this binary number might be the number she just said. And uh, not binary, right? I have a feeling since that is her favorite number. Well, well, maybe it it can be binary, but or actually, it could spell it a word. You could have binary translate to numbers, or also translate to letters. Um, okay, so that's gonna definitely play into one of these endings, right? Uh, commiserate. I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours. But our investigation has made zero progress. Sorry, I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. About me and Iba. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, dresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. Or at least memory that I have is of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Come with me. If you want to live. To where you belong. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. A year later, I was called into the control room where Pooter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Okay, so as long as she's not super sassy. Well, about that. It's been five years since then. Five years in a number of tough cases, but... This time is different. Uh, can you call Iris? I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. She's already dead. Killed by a polar bear. I'm worried about her. I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. Iris's body, frozen solid. Concerned about Renju. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. About Shoko Nadami's murder. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Ooh. Um. My home phone. Save for the cabaret club. Abyss's line. Shoko's phone. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line. Right. He might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. You talk. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Shoka's bitch-ass voice. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Beep, 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 beep. Meditation should be possible. Well then? Say something like, hey, baby cakes, it's a girl. I mean, I don't know why they would... They have to know she's dead by this point. It's been all over the news. You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Yeah! Me? You're the only one who can. 
I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence, not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Hal. And your hair glows too. It, it's connected. It's ringing. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't get nervous. Uh, 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 Calm down, deep breaths. <sighs> <sighs> What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus. They're going to hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Who's that voice? Shoko is dead. Oh. Is that sh is that so? Yes, I died 2 days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. <laughs> Your twin sister? His name. Get his name! How? Uh, ask for his name. No. Accuse him of being an imposter. Yes. Ask, are you Yamada? Tell him you have a package and need his dress. These are all awful. <laughs> uh, Meshisko, are you Yamada? Is this Yamada? No. This is... Say it, say it. Are you sure you have the right number? I think it's so. It can't be. How did you get Shoko's phone? No good. Quick, think of another plan. Uh, oh, no, accuse him of being an imposter. You're an imposter. I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. There it is. Yep, it is. The congressman. A politician? Sejima. That was easy. I like I got over the th other thing from before. <laughs> Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? <laughs> that was a little goofy. I guess it's been my disbelief. I know, I know. And I'm not even talking about the, the fact that I, you know, I said like one thing and he's like, wait a minute, you're the bad guy. And then I changed it to something else. Cause that was just like, what was the game gonna do? Give me a game over? That would've been kind of an asshole move. I meant more towards like the fact that he believed what she said like yeah i'm that was my twin uh i'm alive yeah and then he would actually still in any way would actually say his name and not be suspicious whatever whatever i'm just i'm just gonna go with it though unknown but that was definitely so sejima i was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking so sejima is a minor celebrity he goes even goes on tv sometimes two days ago he called shoko why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? It's terrible. Yeah, good job. Is that all? What? Do you want me to pat you on the head? N no, nothing like that. Maybe a little. I tap my fi fingertip against my left eye. <laughs> Stop! It tickles. Rub, rub, rub. <laughs> <laughs> Harder, harder! Okay, you're liking this a little too much. A call, a call came in soon after. Tate, a call from Investigation HQ. Stop tickling me, stop it! Who's that funny name? Who's that funny name? Sorry. Connect me. I'm in the middle of something. Special Agent Dante from Abyss. My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call. Prisoner at Fuchu Prison. Again? A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. Ah, shit, we are yet. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm 
looking for a plea bargain. Am I telling me the second half of the story that you told me in the other one, Root? He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. It's me later, loser. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. By the way, I actually had one of you guys uh, suggest that um, that the whole uh, appearance of Aiba, like really trying to actually match what like Date likes, is actually true because there's a few things that we sort of have learned, right? Uh, one that Aiba, like her, the way her hair is, she actually looks a bit like Boss, right? Uh, another thing though is actually that sort of throwaway joke of the bonophilia shit. Actually, gave me an achievement, or he's like, "Oh, nice bones." Might actually be the case that he really is sort of weirdly infatuated with somebody's bone structure because Iba's hands, right? We can see through them. Is it some weird design choice or is it actually done for that very reason? Because Date has like them. He gets a boner for bones. <laughs> Shit. Really? I just thought that was a joke. Uh, wow. That's interesting. And also potentially, I guess they, there were jokes about it, but apparently Mike's maybe smaller boobs despite receptionist lady also giving him i don't know i feel like dante kind of gets horny for just about everything i would say that she's running around barefoot because fucking dante likes clearly likes feet right because he keeps going to iris's house and sniffing her shoebox so possible possibility that actually was not lying about that but i just find it interesting because like out of everybody dante doesn't actually like he seems he, he's wanting her to change to something else right it seems like he doesn't like this at all like he likes i like bigger boobs I like people like receptionist lady but maybe he's in denial maybe he's just being sundere like so many of the characters in this game anyway let's go to sejima's house he's already dead hey you can't be here without permission i'll call the police i am the police what happened sir A uh, police officer. You. Yeah. That reaction. Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. Am I going to get a... I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. I didn't get my d -d 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 PTSD uh, heart thumping yet. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. So, it seems like so might end up being like Dante's actual father or something. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Hey, what's your name? Bodyguard man. What's your name? Didn't say a word. Got a girlfriend? Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. This guy's domestic. What? His normalcy must be punished by death. Kill him! <laughs> What's your blood type? What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. You're being rude. I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. Okay, he's got some parts. Just call him A. <laughs> A is standing there. That means this guy's B. Your boss is a dirty liar, you know that? Your boss is a liar, you know. Aren't all politicians? Ah, uh, mama, my guy, mommy. That's surprisingly honest. How much do you get paid? Hey, how much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. Moolah, dinero. Rub my thumb against my pointer finger in a circle, yeah. Probably double what you make. Oh. Really? Iba, bring up a job search website. On it. <laughs> Why are you wearing sunglasses tonight? Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? May I face it and blah, blah. No reaction. Guess you really can't see well in those. I can't tell these guys apart. This is B. Yeah. B is standing there. Uh, tree. Look, Dante. 
Abate, your favorite cabaret girl is here. Rika! That's just a lantern. Rika isn't that sturdy. <laughs> I like we always talk about Reka. I hope one, one of these endings has Reka. As there is a Reka ending. We get to see her. Garden Stone. Anything else? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. My head are really far over here. Island. Pod. Have a look. A Kappa. He is a wealthy, powerful man. It is not surprising that he owns a pet Kappa. Really? Really? <laughs> really? Give me cucumbers. Ah! It's like I heard a strange voice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But clearly so recognize me, right? That's why he's like, you. You, you're my son. I think it's clear that this, I think whatever's happened with Date, I, he's in on this shit, right? Which is why he's not like going out again and being like, well, my son's here. Like he's in on the cover up. But I think that's also part of the reason maybe why he's getting killed here is because so has like state secrets, right? Because the, there's clearly some kind of government cover up involving Date. Uh. Date. Perhaps there's something you should be using. Oh, that. Let's take a look. Oh. Ah, so red. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. Yeah, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? Well, make so confess he killed Shoko. Uh, threaten him with your gun. Peel off his nails. Bribe him. Call him. Iba, call his phone again. Using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. So I went back inside his mansion. Try to follow, but those bodyguards blocked my path. No! I will sh kill you with Go lightning home. again. Unless you want to get kicked out. Anyway, best of alibi. What do you, you think? You know where so was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Me! I does he have a burner phone? I don't know what you're talking about. What's the relationship between So and Shoko? I don't know. Ah. Even if I did, it would be confidential. Uh, what about you? Uh, look, a UFO! Look, a UFO! Jim Flinch. Look, the Mothman! Look, the Mothman! Jim Flinch. Look, a grandma! Look, a grandma! Jim Flinch. Look, a porter bag on the floor! Look, a porno mag on the floor. Where? I, li <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, my man. Yeah. We went out for a drink afterwards. Uh, you know Shoko Nadami. I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician anyway. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked So's smartphone and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Not his rental phone. The one registered under his name. Where's he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Keep tracking him. Roger that. Let's go, team. To the Mustang. Brrr. Oh god, we go back to the fishery again. See over there, sawing Iba or uh, uh, Tessa. I mean Iris in half. Oh 
comes out of a polar bear outfit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I sure do love Pepsi Cola. <laughs> what was so doing here? Date, my apologies. What's wrong? Battery? My battery is low. Oh, come on. Are you serious? It's not going to be a problem. I can still see you out of my right eye. My vision halved. I went to the warehouse. Oh, God damn it. That seems plot convenient for something. Uh-oh. That looks suspicious, but let's look at the forklift. Okay, there doesn't seem anything funny in here. Is that Iris dead? It's covered with a white cloth on the table. This is... Uh, it can't be. Yep. Dead. I saw the future. She's already dead. Iris. Damn, she didn't survive this route after all. Oh well. Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh, no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. She who? The victim. The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris. I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima, bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. I'm definitely going to his Somnium, right? Okay, all right. So this thing seems like at some point we're always, we're going into like literally everybody's Somnium at some point, right? All the major characters. <sighs> all right. Damn, so she's already dead, which means that there's no like, so whatever ending I get, which is, I'm, we're going to get an Irish ending at some point. It's going to be post posthumously. Oh no, she was so nice to me. Oh wait. She was actually manipulative as fuck and uh, probably a demon. Oh, I miss her dabbing so much. Ah, I did. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! No! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I should have been looking at the run. All right. But yeah, basically, no matter where I go in this route, she's going to be dead. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? How dare you? Just because I was at that fish rigging with a frozen dead girl. All right, they just like jump right into that shit. So yeah, you didn't take my polar bear outfit, did you? Funny, I was going to ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. Time to go you full Jack. You know Sagan, don't you? Time to go full Jack Bauer, this asshole. Here we go. No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Maybe he's lying, maybe he's not. And if he doesn't know her name. Use my... Wait, I can just use my thermo thing. Wait, is Iris already low on battery? Or still low on battery? Uh, Iris is autopsy report. Iris' time of death, where Iris was found. Uh, visitor, 2 p.m. Iris' pictures. So leaving the warehouse. Let's look at her Iris's autopsy body report. Was found frozen in the warehouse. Her right eye was removed, and she suffered multiple stab wounds to her back. Interesting that was her right eye, though, right? And in the other route, it was her left eye, right? Yeah. That's just old Cyclops killer. There were no other visible wounds on her body, so the stab wounds were likely the cause of death. From the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. Damn it! Miyumi, was it your knife again? Uh, Iris' time of death. I about how Iris' body was frozen when I discovered it. 
It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Okay. Iris's body was discovered at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse in the Warehouse District by the harbor. Okiura Fishery? That caught my eye too, but we'll get to that later. The actual murder site is unknown. The lack of blood at the scene makes it highly likely that she was killed somewhere else. Okay. Is there 2 a.m.? Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and interrupted the stream. I hadn't been in contact with her for a while. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Iris's pictures? This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. I saw Selling the warehouse. out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Iber recorded the whole thing. Just before my battery ran out. Even though so doesn't know Iris. I guess show him a picture of her. Put a picture of Iris in front of So. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Because you were in the fucking fishery, dude. Iris's time of death or Iris's autopsy? Where Iris was found? Um. Iris's body was okay. That the actual the lack of. There we go. Iris's body was found at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? I stood up and went to the corner of the room. I picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. Right there. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I just feel like getting some fish, you know. I didn't. I was at the warehouse. But I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me. It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent, as is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. I know my rights. Date, can I get a second? Damn you, Japanese George Clooney. What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long, you want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer, or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? He just knows So's alibi. So, time of death. Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night at a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a mahjong parlor. An exclusive mahjong parlor, yes. It was kind of curious there. It was really good. If it's mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did, but they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. <laughs> they were all my bodyguards. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait. What did you say? So I didn't respond, but I remembered. He slipped up, bitch. If I stabbed a woman, so does know about the corpse. Because, yes. Autopsy. You're not supposed to know that. I didn't say anything about her getting stabbed. I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. 
Boss, give me permission to sink. Can I sink up? He can't hide inside his own head. I'm gonna fuck his brain. You've got it. Sink with him. Yeah, gonna get in there. All right, here we go. Which will likely lead to a another choice. I put so into chemically induced Without his dumb permission. Do not worry. It will not affect the sink. I chloroformed him. Okay, Dante. Let's do it. Let's go. Right. All right. Please don't forget the six minute. Time. Shut up, Pooter. I know I've done this a thousand times Say now. It every time. Even when I have time to spare for some reason. All right. See what we learn from glean from this shit. <laughs> Diving deep. Hopefully we don't find him making out with with Iris at some point. Yeah, please don't. Please. Hey, we're at the fishery. Oh, boy! Here comes Tarpa. Woo! Ah! She's dead. No, wait, she's fine. Did you witness my superior driving technique? Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No, I only pressed the wrong pedal. That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, Toya. In a word, I'd say it's strange. Or Yo, Tota. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. The man's Somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. Uh, never mind. Oh, I see uh, Iris in the corner there. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. It's Iris. What on earth is she doing here? Hey, run, girl. <laughs> oh, God, it's the purple man. Ah, oh, shit, FNAF's gonna get me. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. Iris. We can't go any closer. We cannot. That silhouette we saw. This is so Somnium. During a sink, we experience the subject's dreams from a third person perspective. In other words, it has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. Probably. Better for that guy. Just looping What's through that shit. On? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? He's reveling in it. Something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Sure. Do whatever you <laughs> gotta do. <laughs> whatever. Sure. Yes. We have to save Iris, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. But to do that, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Ow, ow, ow! Somnium scan, activate! Okay, I'm just gonna say... Mizuki didn't have to say that, Iris, when she hopped in my Somnium. I'm starting to think you're just trying to look cool. Big box one! Oh! Duel. Uh, holy shit! What the fuck? Where am I? Oh, between the bear, uh, oil drums. Oh god, getting dizzy. Uh, four. All right, four this time. Help Iris escape. If Iris escapes, you may discover so secret. Maybe. Ah, ah. Okay, no choice yet. Look at the flow chart. Does it actually show up in... If I look here? I don't see anything currently, but I imagine at some point there'll be a break. Um, all right. So what do we got? Forklift, large box, warehouse door, G, H, and I. 
Uh, start with a forklift. A forklift. Uh, kick drive. Kick. I see. So this is the bonus stage. Yes. Yeah. Ah! Ha! Uh! Ha! Ah! Uh! Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How many combos was that? Oh, it's a Street Fighter reference. I get it. It's not a fighting game. Those bonus stages in Street Fighter where you uh, beat the shit out of a car. Cute. I got that reference. Uh, okay. We'll try drive. Gives me a double, but it's fine. Roger that. Leave it to me. I'm almost expecting a Shenmu reference here. It is time to unleash the Drift King. Didn't you crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front wheel drive. Whee! Uh oh. Uh oh! Ah! Well, that did something. There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? That's what you just said! That was progress. Good. Um, Before we hop in the portal... Well, well actually, I don't know. Can I... A mysterious warp space... Uh, Throw pebble. Okay, good. Yes, let's go with that. Cost me 10 seconds. Oh god. Oh. It appears to be connected to that place. Made the it made it big. That sound makes it hard to believe it was a pebble. Oh god, I'm gonna make her big, aren't I? A portal. Put your hand in, scream. Gotta put the oh. hand in, baby. Here? Yeah. My hand. Put your whole body in there, get big. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. Grab. Bum 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 bum. Bum Oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. Running slightly further. Ah, still stabbing her. Are those boxes in the way too? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. All right, one down. Still no choice. All righty. Um, anything new? Concrete fragments. Uh, where is that? Back here? Oh, yeah. Dan -dan -dan -dan. Pieces of concrete. Uh, kick investigate. Kick! Ah! Oh. Are you okay? I want to go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. Stop it. You trying to be nice makes me want to cry. Ah. Oh. Of concrete. Uh, okay, investigate. It is the same material that makes up the ground. Though, I am unsure why it fell from the sky earlier. So things that go through that portal come out supersize. Got it. Oh, is that all that is? It's, it's just the thing I did earlier? Okay. that was. I thought that was a new thing that came from the box moving. Okay, this warehouse needs to be open. Or have a... I think. Have a weird goopy shit on it. Door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. Uh, peek inside, go in. Just go in. Hmm? That door should have led to the warehouse, but... Uh, well... Control panel! A. Hey. 
Also keep an eye out for any uh, sparkles. Control panel. Uh, raise lever, input fighting game combo. Oh my God, 120 seconds. Uh, let's go ahead and put that fighting game combo. It's gonna cost me an entire minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. I can do it with this. Here we go. The one that is difficult for humans to input? Yeah, the GH raging combo. Do it. Fine, just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. I think you can do it. I'll try. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Ah! Holy shit, was that the right thing oh, to do? Moved. Ring out! That's a KO! I guess it was the right thing to do! Damn. Sweet, I thought it was just gonna be something funny. Well, I'm still dead. If only she could fit through that gap. Damn me and my thick thighs! Ah! Still no choice. Maybe there's not a choice in this one. Uh. Four minutes. Let's see. All right. Uh, should I go back the way I came now? Box near crane. Yeah, I think I do actually. Housekeeping! Uh, box near crane. Oh, wait, wait, I see it. Hold on. What? Glad even if the draw distance isn't super far, I can at least see, uh, see the ball. Ball sparkliness. Uh, so be. Ow! Toy Story reference? Uh, I don't know. Uh, sink machine. Damn, look how cool that Oculus, Oculus Rift used to look. And they're like, fuck it. We'll just, get, we'll just go with an Oculus Rift. What are they going to do, sue us? Uh, okay, the crane or the box? Let me look at the box real quick. A wooden box hanging from a crane. A uh, punch push. Fuck. Times three? Jesus. A crane. Oh, God. I get a whole bunch of bad things here. Okay, throw something, tackle, ride. All right, let's go with, uh, let's go ahead and push it. No use. It is either stuck to the ground or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Or you're just weak. Or your instructions are bad. Or you're just lazy. Or your breath smells like garbage. All right, good. Took on a times three for no reason. Good. Three minutes, Dante. All right, let's go ahead and uh, use that times three on something minor. A warehouse. Fuck no. That actually might be what I have to do, though. So I, I think that that's actually one I can open. Uh, listen. Fine. I hear deep, excited breathing. Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? It's me. Okay. Uh, I think maybe I just I either have to push that door open myself or uh, use the crane or something on it. Probably, but let's go ahead and just do this and give it a try. Oh no, that actually did work. Oh. What's this? Something came out. Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. What are you even talking about, Dante? Oh. Okay. You're tiny now. Oh my god, was that the solution? It was. Those boxes in the crane were just a red herring. Oh wait, no, here it goes. Ah, nah. <laughs> he could have just like stayed big and stepped on her. Was the box Try to mix things up a bit. Now? Was there something under the wooden box? Let's just go back and lift it up for now. Oh, there is no choice in this one. Unbelievable. Okay. Okay. Ow. Okay, I get it. Ow. Okay, so this is the this is the crate. 
So we're just gonna have to lift it up, right? Um, throw something. Funny, th these were all negatives before. Now they're, now they're not. Throw oh. something. How about this stone? Huh? Yeah. Got him. I hit it, but nothing happened. Damn it. Oh, I got a one ninth at least. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go ahead and just ride it. Not that I am against it, but. Can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. Oh. Oh. Do I have to push a box next to it? Oh, wait, do I? Maybe I have to miss the portal here. Unfortunately, now I have a. What is this? Looks like bad timing. Channel before you pay for it. <laughs> yes. Using this here. Jesus Christ on it. Okay. Oh, I can't actually punch this. For one tenth. It won't even budge. What's the other thing? Tackle? Give it a try. There is no point doing this by force. If we are going to move it, we have to find another way. So I have to put like a box or something up there, I guess. Okay, you've got less than 30 seconds. I'll probably have to retry this one. Oh wait, there's another warehouse, isn't there? There's another warehouse door that I haven't been through yet. I think. Wait, is this the one I went in or was it the other one? This Time is... Time. This is the one I went in, isn't it? But there's a second one. Go and retry from the last one. Oh, it's the one I opened. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Uh, okay. Uh, control panel. Here we go. Is this some kind of... Yes, yes. Uh, input fighting game combo again? I think we just need to raise it this time. Understood. Just need to get it out of the way. Is there something underneath it? Fall into it. Get big. Uh, uh, uh. Did you leap over this shit or something? This guy is very persistent. Oh, I guess I've escaped the goop. Now we can actually do something to help her. Big! Oh! Big kick. Come back. He's dead. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. Interesting. Shadow must be. I'm surprised that there's no uh, choice in this one. Eliminate the threat. Day three, Kuyusai. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. And Date and Iba. Hmm. Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True, he could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. How dare you drug me? Anything funny? Kinda don't think so, but... I wanna beat so over the head with that thing. Alright, there we go! That's what, uh, Busuki said to me. I see. Apparently, you need your dosage increased. Dosage? Shut up, Iba. Stop talking about that medication I don't know anything about. I never... Never question enough. <laughs> well, what would I get to be trapped in that locker with Rika? Yeah. You killed Iris, didn't you? 
I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I... don't remember exactly what I said. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Don't say that, boss. Fuck you. Boss. It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> that's so fucking dumb. Why would she even say that? Oh, that's so fucking stupid. No. He still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? How'd you call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. About Iris. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. What's your alibi for Shoko's murder? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. But they're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. Color stream from his face. Uh, about the Somnium earlier. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one in the same, it's like you saved her, Date. Sure, whatever. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. I'm sorry. Uh, can we get a rest warrant for this guy? Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Why do we, like, have him in this room with us? I'm not gonna have to go back to the interrogation room. That's too long of a walk. Let's just stand here and talk about him while he's here to listen. Did the crime scene investigation report anything? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but... That warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. I know. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? Searching. Beep, boop, beep, boop, booter! Uh, about the mysterious figure. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Somnium. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear, after all. Even the subject of the dream themselves. I told you earlier that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves, like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. Oh, yeah. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you is an ability many charismatic people share. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous, it could be so. Indeed. How does thinking work? During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind, or more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Picture an egg. The ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. 
The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnium. But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. This is just like that. Very strange uh, metaphor there. What is the ego algorithm? Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. Keep going. In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. God damn it, keep going! All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. Wadja! And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. Oh god. Date, the investigation team is calling. This is Date from Abyss. What happened? This is Kagami. Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. Now a good time. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. You wanted Ariake? Yes, that's right. Oh my god. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Really? Maybe we should have hung out there before leaving. Make sure the police got to it. What do you mean there's no body? Yeah, we looked everywhere, but nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Oh, this is where this is coming to play. I was like, okay, okay. Clearly, they're setting us up for some shit, right? Just happened that Iba's battery died. It's like, well, I'm about to go into this place. And of course, oh, I didn't, uh, Iba didn't see fucking Iris's dead body. Ugh, okay. How someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived? No, there's another possibility. There is? It's getting the Mustang. Uh, back to the residence. She's she's gonna be totally fine, right? Yep. D Date. Iris. W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Um, something wrong? The world... ...changed.
What? Day four, Monday, Suriai. Well, I guess that was my bad, boss. <laughs> Sorry. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. A game dream. Thanks for watching. Maybe dream changed reality. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm losing it a little bit with this, some of this. And I'm going to tell you why. We're getting way too many moments of, like, coincidental bullshit, right? And it's really starting to kind of grind my gears. So, okay. We come across a dead body. I, Iris is there, right? We choose to leave and not wait for the cops to show up, right? Like, really? That we, we leave and go, I guess, go after So? Like, I'm afraid he's going to get away or something. We could have called somebody to go after him, but now we got to do it ourselves and leave nobody there. And like, okay, well, maybe the body was never there to begin with. And that's the twist here. It's still stupid, right? We shouldn't have left the scene like that. Okay. Second is the coincidental shit, of course, that Iba's I, I got to go out at just that moment, you know? When at no other point in this entire game so far has there ever been any indication of like, I guess I got to charge Iba. It just, it's like, okay, and like, and it's so, I don't know, it just feels so forced, right? Just takes me out of it a bit, because it doesn't feel like this natural progression. And then, well, the thing with So, and it's like, he's like, oh, we, I saw your boss mention to stab body, and that's why I did it. And we're over here like, well, maybe I did do that. I didn't really think about it. So, like, either one, one, for, first off, why would she say that in fucking in front of him, right? To, if he is telling the truth, then why would she have said that also in front of him, right? Like, for, like why would we have this conversation in front of him? Why are we talking to each other in this fucking room without him in another room where he can't hear us? And we've done this a few times now, right? I think we did with Iris as well. We just brought her back into that room. And especially in an instance where it actually seems to be significant, right? It's just kind of dumb. It's not reason why your partner doesn't come in and you're like, hey, let me go ahead and tell you about what I think about the case in front of the person they're trying to figure out if they did it or not. And I, I hate saying this. I really do, because I know I'm going to get shit for it. I know people are like, Nico, you're thinking about it too much. Let's roll with it. Stop being a little bitch. But this is sort of my, this isn't just even this moment, right? This is sort of my problem with the game overall, is that there's too many moments of characters just doing stupid shit for no reason other than this is what the plot calls for. Like, they, the, the writer couldn't think of a clever enough way for this thing to happen naturally, so I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to force it in there. And it's, it just takes me out of it, personally. And I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I hate expressing my opinion about this shit because I know people will get upset and they're like, and it takes you out of it. And I don't want to take you out of it if you're super invested in it, but this is just how I feel, okay? And I'm not saying the story's awful or that I hate this game or that it's like total trash now, but I, I want you guys to know where my head's at at this moment. And my head right now is just a little bit like, I'm not fully gripped right now because I'm just feeling like, I just keep going like, why did they do this? Why did they do this? Why did they do this? And that's like the feeling you don't want to see in a story. You don't want to see too many people doing too many stupid things because the plot ordains it that way. So I guess the idea is simply that, that Date maybe imagined that he saw her body there based on what he saw before. That was in his mind, right? Then why did So see the, the body getting stabbed? And he's thinking, well, we saved her in Somnium, and I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't think so. But this is sort of like, I think something maybe Uchikoshi, I, I mean, I'm guessing this story was probably written entirely by him. Maybe he had some help or had other people he bounced ideas off of. But I think it's mostly him, right? And it's something that I noticed, I feel like, as his work has gone on, right? Uh, that it's something that I think he... Like, I've really noticed in Zero Time Dilemma. Like, they're just moments that where characters will just do some really dumb shit. And I feel like every game that has happened since 999, since I played it, it each game has had more moments of that. Um, I could be misremembering. It could be not the, the game, that, but me. Like, I'm noticing more because I played enough games, done enough Let's Plays by this point. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but that's just where my head's at. 
the game's not ruined for me. I'm still, I still want to know what the hell's going on with this thing. Um, but I'm just like, if I seem like I'm sort of out of it a, a bit here in the, like the past, like maybe 30 minutes or something, that's why. Anyway, I'm going to go think I'm going to end things here for now. Probably just sit on this for a little bit. Try to just like get over it and then move on. Hopefully you guys at least sort of understand where I'm coming from. I don't think I'm just being a big critical asshole bitch, you know? I want to be honest with you guys, but I, I know some people just want me to shut up and play the game. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe and already become Piggy Penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.